Hey guys, I'm Josh Spoon with The Bruce's Kitchen, and here's 10 things I like about Live 10. Now in Live, you have the ability to install packs right inside of Live, and this is really awesome. You also can get updates right inside of Live. So you just go down to the bottom of packs and look and see what you're missing and get it right here. You don't have to go to ableton.com anymore. Uh, you don't have to wonder if there are updates go into the site. Everything is done in-house. This is super cool. I'm very excited about this. And check out some of the new patches. Some people say that analog doesn't sound great. Come on. There's a couple of new devices inside of Live, and my favorite right now is Echo. So this thing rivals uh, dub machines, if you know what that is. It's different, but it's really, really awesome. So it gives us the 60s kind of overdriven Rhodes sound. So the sound's already Rhodes, but I just kind of mess with it. So I'm just showing you different little parameters that you could do of changing the time, the repitch. Um, you get crazy feedback, self-oscillation. Uh, you can get flanging and things with this modulation. Uh, it changes the delay times a little bit, and it uses the triangle wave to do that. I've got the input in there really hard, overdrive. You can gate it to where when their original sound comes in, it gates out the, uh, the delay. You could also do ducking, noise. You can add like faux noise in there, um, even wobble. So. It's pretty, pretty versatile. You could do flanging, chorus, delay, any type of, you know, time-based effects in this thing. It's even got a reverb in here. It's got a decay for the reverb. You can set how you want the reverb to uh, be set pre, post, feedback. I have mine in feedback. Um, so it's really just if the feedback's going into the reverb. Stereo, mono, everything in between. Uh, it's just a really, really, really um, well-built instrument. So check out Echo. Another new device is Drum Bus. Right now, this is inside of a new uh, Ableton Live drum rack that uh, comes with Suite, and all this is subject to change, but you can see that uh, you can overdrive this thing, you can set an amount. Um, it has a lot of things built in. It has a compressor, overdrive. Uh, it also allows you to crunch up the sound, change the transients so it gets the um, the mids of the transients and shortens and lengthens them uh, right now I'm messing with the boom which adds some low-end resonance which is really cool so it's like it's really crazy you've got like kind of like a resonator in there that allows you to beef up your low end I have a feeling this is gonna get used a lot by a lot of people to really fatten up their drums Okay, I said that Echo is my favorite, and this is a close second, or may become my favorite. This is Wavetable. So those of you who wanted a Wavetable, and you didn't want to pay any extra money, besides what you're going to pay for the upgrade, uh, you have it now. There are two oscillators, two filters, you got the Cytomics uh, in there as well, to be able to set the uh, overdrives with the kind of old analog style. You have a Matrix that allows you to uh, set three envelopes and route them so as you can see i've got like the oscillator position um, moving back and forth depending on the lfo uh, i could set all sorts of other things similar to operator uh, in the midi section and check out the unison man that makes stuff sound really really great next on the list of new devices is pedal and i'm just going through a couple of presets here that uh, come with live so far in the beta and um, you have overdrive distortion and fuzz i haven't used this on my bass yet but i plan to give it a go i just wanted to show you a little bit of the options that are here but uh it's pretty cool we have now an amp a cabinet 
and we also have uh, some basic pedal effects and obviously delays and reverbs that have been there for a while. So now we have true stereo pan. You can right click and select the split, the left and right. Uh, so if you don't know what true stereo pan is, now you have the ability to take the left and right signal and push it all the way to the left and right and everywhere in between, both independent um, pannings for the left and right. And you get what most people say, true panning, that Pro Tools and uh, some of the other more major DAWs have. So all you mixing engineers out there, now you can't complain. Um, now you can move on to, I guess, surround sound? I don't know. Oh snap, son. Another thing people have been asking for, multi-clip editing. You can now select multiple clips and work with them inside of one window. Uh, so you see right here, I have some chords and then I can just make an arpeggio based off of those chords. I don't have to look back and forth or copy the chords over. I can just build on top of it. This is really great um, if you like to do drums independently and don't like to use drum racks. Uh, this is great for, you know, locking in a bass with a kick drum, all sorts of things. If you look up at the top, you have the ability to switch between the different clips um, by highlighting right below the beat time ruler. Hey, you ever uh, saved a project and then realized, ah crap, I made a mistake and I lost all my undos? Well, now you don't have to worry about that. Live has uh, backups. So I'm just gonna save this project right here. So you see it right there, and I'm going to make a little change, and then I'm going to save it again, and you'll see that a backup folder shows up, and then there's my latest change. If I make another, edit, save it again, you'll see I now have two backups. This is really cool. Unlimited undos, up to 10 backups. This is going to really help with people's workflow and um, not regretting pressing save. There's so many cool things. This one uh, is super cool, collections. So now you can um, do your own kind of meta tagging, putting things in groups that you like. You can name the groups. I'm gonna go in and just add one to one of the drum collections. Like right here, I could just say, hey, I like these drums. I wanna add them to my drums just by pressing the number one. And it's added to the list um, in the collection, which is really cool. So there's a lot of cosmetic changes in live that I'm not really gonna go into in this video of just 10 things that I like, but uh, some of you who have been hoping, um, I call complaining for a long time, asking for MP3 support, it is here, you have it. So now you can uh, export your files in really bad quality, but you also have FLAC and you have Wavepack as well. Uh, so you have a lot of different options now. Though I personally wasn't screaming for MP3 support, uh, it's a welcome addition for me because then it's just less steps and then flack is super cool and uncompressed and I can totally dig that. No chase, no chase. I'm just happy they added it. That's the worst cake rendition ever. But now I have the ability to start anywhere inside of your arrangement and you can hear the MIDI notes play. So you don't have to start the playback head before the chords that you wanna hear. You can start it anywhere and it's going to play. This was a much needed feature um, for people coming from other DAWs that have it. And even me who I've never used anything but live, but knew that this was really, really valuable. Okay, so let's say you're messing around, you're trying to figure out some chords, and you figure out some really cool chords, and you play them the way that you like it, but you weren't hitting record. Well, now Live has a thing called Capture, which is always listening to any MIDI that you're doing, and you can just capture and play back what you did. I think this is going to be not only great for production, but also for performance. Just think about if you want to just come up with a beat really quick. You don't have to think about the tempo, you just play the beat and then Live will figure out the tempo and then you can build from there. 
So with Live 10, push gives you a lot more freedom to not look at your screen. One of my favorite updates is the chord sequencer. So you can start comping chords and seem like you can play the piano better than you can. I'm not going to go too deep in this right now because I plan once Live 10 comes out to do a Live 10 and Push uh, series. Okay, so that's it. Those are my 10 favorite things uh, about Ableton Live 10. Right now it's currently in beta, so things may change. Hopefully things uh, don't get taken out. Hopefully more things get added and improved on by the time 10 comes out. I'm gonna put out a couple of more videos during the beta process, but I'm probably gonna wait until the full release to do anything. For more information on Ableton Live 10, check out producerskitchen.com or go to the YouTube page. I'm Josh Spoon, and don't forget, always be creating.